at their own 38 yard line. They'll bunch the formation. Looks like they add an extra tight end. Shotgun for Hopper. Money Woods the back, and it's a fake to Woods, and Hopper, far sideline. Look at Hopper go. 30, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Hopper took it all the way. <laughs> 62 yards on the run for Hopper. But Hopper got around that left end, and Concord underestimated his speed. Huge gain on the play. Yeah, about 45 yards. Wow. Hopper is fast. Hi, my name is Michael Hopper. I've just finished my junior football season. I'm the starting quarterback for Snyder High School. In my first year as a starter at Snyder High School, I feel like this season went fairly well for me just coming into the program, learning the offense over the uh, summer. I believe I acclimated myself very well. Play action to Woods. Hopper takes it. Hopper scampers in from 24 yards. Hello, my name is Kurt Tippmann. I'm the head football coach at Snyder High School in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Well, the most impressive thing about it all was, you know, number one, he was competing for the starting job with a, another kid in his class that had been in the program for, you know, a couple years. Uh, he had to learn the offense in a matter of weeks and then begin competing for that job. So he basically learned an offense and what most guys, you know, if a kid starts as a junior, what most kids take two years, he picked up in roughly the two months that we did it in the summer. Antoine Taylor, AWP Sports, Director of Quarterback Training. I've had an opportunity to work with Michael the past couple of years um, with his mechanics, um, quarterback training, kind of his, developing his quarterback IQ. Um, been working with him for years as he's going through the transition of developing into a mature quarterback. Here's a formation they ran where Hopper took off in the first half. Hopper, pump fake, oh, and go. Pippen Hammer at the goal line, runs under it, and catches it on the fly. Touchdown! A beautiful throw as Hopper was drilled just as he let go of it. And that was perfect. My skills that are bringing to the Snyder football team are leadership for one. The quarterback always has to be the leader on the field. I believe I did a great job of that. Second, my skill set. Uh, my speed is very good for a quarterback. And then my football IQ. I believe that I help my other teammates around me understand the plays better so we can execute them. Hopper goes in the gun, drop back, quarterback keeper on the draw. The 10, the 5, space and touchdown. Michael Hopper from 15 yards. Michael came to Snyder High School uh, over the summer, so I felt like in four months time frame, what he was able to do to earn a starting position, build a relationship and some camaraderie with some guys, learn a new offense, new coaching staff. I felt like his ability to adjust to the different environments was extremely, it was, it was a testament to, to the person that he is. Not, not just a quarterback, but him as a person. Um, he learned a new offense. Um, he, he learned a new system, he had a new culture, and so for, for him to be able to do that this year uh, says a lot about him. Twin wide receiver to your far side here, is alone, Hopper pulls it out and he'll go wide. This is where he is dangerous and just tripped up. So this first year for Michael, um, starting varsity as a quarterback, um, coming off of Snyder High School's um, best offensive um, unit in history, I felt like he had some big shoes to fill. Um, he came into the weight room, he put on some weight, he got strong, he um, plays multiple sports. So I feel like his ability to manage all of that was extremely well this year. He's, he's very strong, he's stronger than he looks. Very strong legs, very strong shoulders, upper body. Um, he's a physical specimen. His height isn't ideal, however his speed I think compensates for um, his lack of height. Being six foot um, is not the prototype of the position that he plays. I think being in the right system for him will complement his skill set. Um, he, he's very smart, he's very disciplined, he's a hard worker. Um, at his Snyder offense, he's responsible for run pass option reads. Five yard line for the first down and the read option and Nowhere they go. don't hand it to Covington. Hopper escapes one of the back. Somewhere near the five. Wow. 
I do believe myself as a read option quarterback to the next level. I think my speed definitely ties into that. Uh, I think I'd be a great fit for the speed option as well as the spread offense. Oh, that's what we run at Snyder, but both packages do fit well with me. When you speak about the option game, I think that's one of the things that he had a lot of repetitions with, with where he was before. So he picked up the option game very fluently, very quickly. Uh, then the read progressions, you know, that we do in a passing game, although the concepts were new, what he was good at was um, the progression reads and being able to move your eyes from here to here to here or read this defender and then throw according to, to that, those reactions. Mishawaka may think about coming up playing more in the box. Hopper under tons of pressure. Great scramble. Finds the open receiver for the first down. Uh, I believe that I'm a scrambler first, just on how my speed goes. Uh, pocket passer is definitely a close second, but I do prefer myself as a scrambler first. Hopper drops back, rolls to the right. Throw it away. All the way, rolling, rolling, throwing in the end zone. And caught, touchdown, Snyder! What a turn of event. The Panthers have scored 26 straight points. So if you have a system that plays to his strengths, I think he can be very, very, very productive in, in the offense. Well, being that he's a dual threat quarterback, I think he's probably um, the top dual threat quarterback in the area. Um, he runs like a 4-5. He's the anchor on the 4-4 four, four by, is it the 4 by 1? Uh, he, run, he runs the anchor on that former wrestler, so if you can learn about the individual competitor that he is, as well as the team competitor, um, I think any offense that suits his, his skill set in terms of allowing him to, to be dual threat is going to be a good offensive system for him. Between his high school years, he's had an ability to learn multiple offenses, but I think he's coming into his own with, with, the, op, with the offense that allows him to use his feet. I guarantee you if he, if he breaks the if he breaks the, the line of scrimmage, it's going to be very difficult to stop him, which we've seen um, over and over this past season. Um, when it comes to tough situations, third and long, second and long, it's, it's, it's become more normal for him to be able to pick up those, those first downs with his feet. He does a good job of protecting himself um, when it's time to get out of bounds, so he's very headsy. Set too wide to the right side, the wide side of the field. Hoppert out of the pistol. Play action fake, wants to throw. Time of the pocket, throws in the middle. He's got hip and hammer down. Yeah, I think throwing the ball went fairly well this year. Um, had just had over 1,200 yards passing. Uh, I think 16 or 17 touchdowns passing. Um, so I think throwing the ball did go very well this year. Nothing. Shotgun, Hoppert drops in the pocket, looking left the whole way, and now we'll lob it. Coming over here, hip and hammer. Hip and hammer, the catch of the 39. Hopper will take the snap, fakes the handoff, sets up the throw. He goes deep down the right side. Got a receiver out there, and it's a touchdown. His body is going to continue to develop. He's going to add more weight as he gets stronger. His arm strength is there. A um, couple things we want to improve from his junior year to his senior year is his uh, release points, working on multiple release points, increasing his uh, trajectory, um, mastering certain throws. So I think from this season, uh, this past season, going into the next season, we're going to master every throw. Um, intermediate throws, he, he can throw well. We just want to become more consistent with every throw on the field so that a college coach can be confident that they're getting a quarterback that can make every throw. With the lead in the football from the Carroll 39, Hopper drops, throws over the middle, and that's caught by Pat. I compare myself to Johnny Manziel, just like him. Not the tallest guy, but I believe I have the same abilities as him as far as um, taking the play farther. Proving upon, I believe, uh, just understanding the playbook just more in depth coming into my first season. There were some bumps upon the road, but upon my season season, I think I understand the playbook more in depthly um, and just executing the plays better. Hopper's gonna roll out, gonna throw against his body. What a pass, beautiful look. From a leadership standpoint, Michael is a very, very accountable um, leader. He not only is accountable himself, but he can hold his teammates accountable. When you talk about what type of kid are you getting, comes from a great home, great structure. So he's used to having a, a structured environment. He can also adjust to guys that may come from homes that don't have that structure. So I think that he, he has some good balance as a leader. He's not the 
the most rah-rah guy, but at the same time, he definitely has the energy that you want at a quarterback. From the left hash, dropping is Hopper, and he'll tuck it and run. Dragged by the jersey and thrown down by Anton Berry. Well, the thing that comes out, Michael, uh, and I think we got a great taste of this this year. Number one, um, you know, you, you, he's always he's a hard worker, and so in practice, you know, he's just grinding to get better at everything that we're coaching him to do. But in a game, there is a, a drastic difference between the way he plays in a game and the way he plays in practice. I mean, he's a as coaches you kind of cliche call it. He's a gamer, but he just plays better on Friday nights than he does during the week. He's just, he's a competitor. And I think that competitive spirit about him comes out, um, you know, on Friday nights that you just can't measure, that you don't see it necessarily in practice all the time. The other thing that has proved very beneficial to us as a team and as an offense, he has the ability to uh, ad lib uh, when things on the offense maybe not executing the way they're supposed to, somebody else, something breaks down, and has a knack for just doing what it takes to keep that drive going or to, to make a play successful. Here at Westfield, it's first and 10 ball at the 15, 5-0-8. Left in the fourth quarter, Hopper keeps it himself, dicing through the defense, a big gainer of about 15 yards for Michael Hopper. Ryan, it seems like this offense is at its best with Hopper and that read option's working. I was able to gain the guys' trust by just by how hard I worked. I set the standard for how, for how hard I need to work in order to reach certain goals. Um, and I believe they latched onto that and I drove them onto the season. I believe my game translates to the next level just because of my skill set um, and my mentality of how hard I want to work and how willing I am to do whatever I need to do to win. You've got two guys for Snyder. Now here's the fade thrown to the left corner. Hip and Hammer's got it for a touchdown. Beautiful. And a boy, Michael Hopper. Hip and Hammer's awesome, but what a toss by Hopper. That is a very difficult pass to make, and if you can get it out there, Hip and Hammer's going to bring it in. Huge play for Snyder.